Hi guys, it's Blackie. Okay. Today, I'm going to let you see some behind the scenes because I got an idea that's been floating around my head for a couple of years that I want to experiment with a little bit. Now, as you know, my Blackbird Haversack that is done really, really well. And I'm very happy with it. This was the haversack that I had floating around in my head forever. The strap certain way, the flap certain way, lock, closed, that type deal, way you hook to it, all the above. Well, it was an idea that came about of real world me carrying one of these things a lot and me utilizing it. And so as you know, um, I'm utilizing that haversack, that's my haversack to carry every day. And my 10 C's and my scouting kit and all is in that and it carries an emergency poncho and an emergency um, small hammock so I've got a way to get up off the ground and I can camp if I have to but it's meant to be a scouting work bag etc where if I get stuck out here I can camp I'm not stuck but it doesn't have quite the comforts now on the upper end of that you have my camp craft rucksack this is my camping bag I'm setting up a base camp. I'm going to be here two or three days. This is a three or four day bag or an over weekend, you know. And so it's set up to have enough room to handle the food, the stove, the clothing, the comfort camping gear. So this is my camping bag, my rucksack. Between the haversack and the rucksack, there's a middle ground. And what I'm thinking for that middle ground is I want a bag that in fact i'm going to be doing a, a live i'll go ahead and clue y'all into that me and dan lutz are going to be doing a live um on youtube and i'll post on my facebook i'll post to youtube channel all the social media let y'all know if y'all want to come listen in me and dan are going to sit and fully flesh out this idea for me about what do you need in between because i have the haversack for all my 10 season all my gear and I have my uh, rucksack for all of my camping needs. Well, I want a little in between where I'm just doing an overnight, you know, where I'm only going to have 48 hours, okay? I want a bag that does what the haversack does, but I don't need quite the bulk of the rucksack. I need it small and compact, and I need something that when I go, I've got just enough. I can carry an actual, like a small compact hammock, a bigger tarp, and a few little amenities and food, and still cover everything without, remember where I showed where I can take my um, haversack and carry on your waist so that when I'm carrying my rucksack, I'm also carrying my haversack. And I'll put the link to that somewhere along in here somewhere if you haven't seen that video. Because once I get there and I get my base camp set up, well, then the haversack becomes the thing I'm going to be carrying around. I'm not going to carry around the empty rucksack. I want to shift over to the haversack and go, let's go fish, let's go explore, let's go down here and see whatever. It becomes a base camp we radial out of. Well, can I compact that? It's an idea. Okay. And in a minute, I'm going to shift back to the house uh, and I'm going to lay out how I modified this. Now, the, the um, chassis is a surplus French F1 uh, backpack. It, I got it for like $22, I think, off of eBay. And it was kind of rough, but it was fine. It's serving as a beginning, okay? But, and I'm going to be doing a lot of heavy modifications. But as you see right there, that is a Blackbird haversack that's been modified to be the flat for it. And it comes off. My idea is this. I would do my haversack, and this would be a dedicated haversack, not my regular one, because I've got to cut the strap and rig the strap up a little differently, and I'll show you that. But by doing this, I then have a haversack that when we get there I can take off, and I'll show you that this bag becomes the overnight what I need for an overnight 48 hour camp out. I'd have a, uh, a hammock, 
a bigger tarp, some food, etc. It's where it's a little too big for the haversack, but it ain't big enough yet to go to the ruck. I don't need it. It's something lightning quick. We're just going out and setting up for 48 hours. You know, we're going to come out here, spend the day doing whatever, sleep tonight. It's really just so we can take a nap. You know what I mean? And so it's also this one. These uh, One of the reasons I went with the F1, it's got a pocket back here. And this pocket is a perfect place for me to slide like a quick grab sitting pad, you know, out of foam or something. Also pads my back. I could also fold up an emergency space blanket and slide in there. I haven't come figured out the connection yet as far as how I'm going to cinch it down, but this will be cinched down. The way I want it to be, and see, you got this big gap up here. That ain't going to be the way it is. It'll come up here and be snapped or something and hooked so that it's all the way to the top, okay? Then once I get there, the haversack will be taken off. This will be left hooked to the tree, and I'll have a bag liner or something in here that will keep my stuff dry in case it rains. To be able to access my gear, that's the mindset. So, let me shift the camera around right quick and I'll show you how this comes off. Okay. See how it's there? I got that flap up. All right. I've got a D-ring on both sides of the modified Blackbird haversack. My straps are going through that and that allows that to anchor in place. And there's a great big D-ring right here and there's a pull handle. I'm thinking some sort of snap right here to keep the haversack from sliding down a little further, but I'm still working. I might even come up with a loop there that I can go through. I'm not sure yet, but I'm working on this. This will be a little bit of fence yet, but I'll get this. Now, let me unhook it right for you. Okay, now I've got it unhooked, unstrapped. And you see what I've done is I've taken one strap and cut it off and added a D-ring. Okay? Now inside, as a zipper compartment, I carry the strap that I cut off. And what I did with it is I folded it over and I put another pair of D-rings. So what I do is I come to the new pair of D-rings the new D-ring I should say on the top left pull it up pass it through here now why did I go put these two rings on here simple I can use this as a waist belt for the strap uh, for the uh, rucksack and then come around to the other end just like normal and adjust Therefore, I'm back to a full-size Blackbird rucksack, all in one. Pretty easy, huh? So, being able to take and set up my haversack to have my 10 C's and the things I would usually carry, okay? Being able to take that and anchor it so it becomes not just dead weight, but actually part of a larger bag that's not cumbersome okay all I need is enough room to carry what I need to carry and that's it which is going to be a um, a tarp a hammock food etc that's it basically an old military butt pack you know but with a pair of straps on it so that when I get there this can hook to the tree and I take off the haversack and have a fully functional blackbird haversack so that I don't have to do redundancy. You see what I'm saying? I do have redundancy in my makeup, but I don't have to have redundancy in what I'm carrying. I ain't got to carry this plus carry that. You know what I mean? I'm trying to streamline and make it easier. And so I'm letting you in on the uh, behind the scenes and seeing this is something I'm trying to work out. Now, the attachment. I'm starting with a surplus bag. Uh, I could easily create a bag, and that's what it'll eventually be, is I will start from scratch and design the, the knapsack, okay? And then part of the knapsack will be a modified Blackbird to be the flap like I showed, where you'll have a strap to take off and off. By putting those double Ds on um, 
the strap. It allows me, I could put double D's on both sides of the pack and just make the same connection like I do here on both sides. I put the double D's onto this so that this could serve as a waist belt where you could run it through at a bottom attachment of the rucksack and then come around and cinch it for a waist belt to keep the pack from bouncing on you when you walk. It's in the early stages. I'm trying to work out all these little details. What would be the benefit? What would be the advantage? And how can we do it efficiently? That's where I'm going. Because eventually what I want is I've got my haversack. I've got my rucksack. I want that between option. Uh, where the weather's nice, it's not cold, so I don't need heavy stuff. And in the winter, I'm definitely going to need my rucksack or my backpack. Now, that's the next step up. We'll talk about that another day. But backpacks for great big bulky stuff, you know. Like uh, that's whenever you're carrying those two under quilts and everything else trying to stay warm in 18 degree weather. That's when that comes into place. It's not the weight, it's the bulk. I just need a much bigger bag to handle the bulk. Rucksack does 99% of my camping. Um, right now, basically it's so hot and it is most of my summers that I don't need any kind of sleeping bag or whatever and I, I've used a sheet. I, I showed a video where I took a uh, sleeping bag liner, a uh, canvas, uh, excuse me, a cotton sleeping bag liner and split the same, made it into an overquilt. That's all I need in the summer down here because the nights are going to be in the high 70s. You know, I'm just keeping the bugs off of it. So having a light hammock with a light mosquito net, having something to throw over me, a little small compact, compact pillow, and then my food options. I can carry a cook pot this way. I can carry a bush pot this way. And be more streamlined than having my haversack with everything just hanging on it and jangling in your walk. I don't like that. I like to be smooth and clean when I go through the woods and not hang on everything. So that's where I'm going. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. Please leave any questions or comments below. And if there's some, you know, if, if you like this idea, but there's some feature, you know, could you try to do this, whatever, put it in the comments. Give me some ideas. We'll see what we can work in. You know, you'll see. This, this is a long way off. This ain't something I'm going to be making tomorrow. I'm in the process. This is the development process. This is R&D. I want my knapsack. I'll have my haversack, my knapsack, my rucksack. I'll be good. Thank you very much, guys. I'll... Until next time, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.